How to Calculate the Rate of Transpiration by casescience.com. In this table, we're going to represent the data that we've collected using a photometer to investigate the rate of transpiration. So in the first column, you have the temperature. So we're changing the temperature. This is our independent variable. In the next column, we have airflow that is directed towards the plant in meters per second. So this is another independent variable. And the distance the bubble moved in 30 minutes is the dependent variable, is what we are measuring. So we use the following temperatures and we use the following wind speeds, the airflow direct towards the plant. And these are the recorded distances that the bubble moved in 30 minutes for each temperature and airflow variable change. To work out the rate of transpiration in millimeters per minute, so how quickly the bubble moves through the capillary tube, we need to try to work out the rate of transpiration. And that is by dividing distance traveled by the bubble by the time. So to work out the rate of transpiration at 5 degrees Celsius and with an airflow of 2 meters per second, you do the distance moved by the bubble in millimeters, which is 6 millimeters, divided by the time, which is 30 minutes. So the rate of transpiration in millimeters per minute is 0 0.2 millimeters per minute. So at 10 degrees Celsius, with an airflow of 2 meters per second, the bubble moved a distance of 11 millimeters. And we divide 11 millimeters by the total time, which is 30 minutes. This gives us a rate of transpiration of 0 0.37 millimeters per minute. So the bubble moved 0 0.37 millimeters per minute. Pause the video here to calculate the remaining rate of transpiration. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. As we increase the temperature from 5 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius, as we increase the temperature, there was an increase in the rate of transpiration from 0 0.2 millimeters per minute to a rate of transpiration of 0 0.77 millimeters per minute. So there was an increased rate of transpiration. This is due to an increased rate of evaporation of water from the stomata and out of the leaf. So the next change in independent variable was no change in the temperature because that remained at 20 degrees Celsius. But we increased the airflow from 2 meters per second to 3 meters per second. This saw an increase in the distance the bubble moved in 30 minutes from 23 millimeters to 27 millimeters so the bubble moved further when we increased the airflow and you can see that from the rate of transpiration the rate of transpiration increased from 0 0.77 millimeters per minute to 0 0.09 millimeters per minute this is due to an increased rate of evaporation of water from the stomata and out of the leaf so even though there was the same temperature there was a different airflow so this has shown that if you increase the airflow, you will also see an increase in the rate of transpiration. This is due to an increased rate of evaporation of water from the stomata and out of the leaf. So this has shown that if you increase the temperature, you will see an increase in the rate of transpiration. This is due to an increased rate of evaporation of water from the stomata and out of the leaf. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow, and if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.